It's official. I am Michael Rapole, a.k.a. Nomad, and I am definitely hot for Kemper. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So, basically... Holy shit, that's not going through a thing? Through a cabinet? This is all in the It's your profile divided by 13. You're the tube screamer. So play a little bit and we can we can mess with Oh, see. Internal, all that's coming. Yeah, shake yeah. it off. Shake it off. Uh, I didn't warm up yet today. That's a warm up. <laughs> okay. That's basically it. I love it. That's uh, it's cute. That's how it works. A nice long spatial delay. A long that delay that explodes when you touch it. You know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna spoon, touch it. You know how you know what I mean. One of those fat boy delays, like the uh, the waves plugging. And then we have more delay. Do you want more? Mix. Like more volume? Mix. More mix? The mix, yeah. And then how do you go to the amp? The amps are, uh... I see. Phones. Wow. So, you know, ideally, the, the, the way we have this set up now, and it, what makes us great for a studio gig, is that, you know, the way I had it set up when we profiled the amp was the guitar was going into this, it's coming out to the amp, mm -hmm. and then it was going to the cabinet, mic'd up, all that stuff, and it was coming back to this, right? 
um, what you could do is if you took this to any session gig you had, like you know you're doing a record with someone mm -hmm. and you so obviously you're spending a lot of time dialing in the tones out of an amp or whatnot, uh, you can have this before your amp, you know, just as a, as a, as a pure bypass. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when you're done getting the sounds and you've recorded your part, you can just have the engineer send you a feed of that mic, you know, of the cabinet. Mm -hmm. uh, go into this and do a quick profile. That way you've got a snapshot of that exact amp, that sound, and everything you did, you know, tone-wise for that part. And then move on to the next part. So that way when you go out on the road and you know you want to really cop those those parts exact, you've you've got it in here, right. but the actual process of getting it, you were able Pretty to get easy. it while you were actually in the studio. It's just basically you're kind of running it in line anyway as wow. you're as you're recording. So uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Wow. It's pretty innovative. Amazing. Yeah. Well, it's official. I am Michael Rapole, aka Nomad, and I am definitely hot for Kemp. Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm going out with David Foster tomorrow. David Foster and friends. Everybody's going to be there. We're playing for whoever. You know, you never know who's going to show up, right? Yeah. The next day I go out with Babyface. The next, then next week I'll be in the studio working on another album. So I'm thinking right away when you tell me, I'm thinking, well, shit, come over here, record everything into the thing, yeah. my whole rig, and then let me just take it. Yeah. Uh, Southwest, baby, right under my arm and walk yeah. on the plane, you know. Well, you know, it does have very so, nice little... Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like it's like strap. That's what I was thinking. You can just strap it on your shoulder strap and it on your be shoulder done. And go. Yeah. That's what I was totally thinking. Yeah. Because my guitar tech, who is also another Mike, uh, Mike Brown, shout out, um, he packed up my whole rig last night mm -hmm. from the studio. And he had a list and we have all the guitars. Yeah. And then we had all the amps and the cabinets. Yeah. And it's like, that's a hassle. Yeah. Well, the cool thing is, is to take that in a cabinet. Exactly. Uh, a 212. Yeah, or, or, a 112. Or, or you could even just go direct to if you wanted to. You could do that. Yeah. You could go direct into the PA. Because, yeah. I mean, wow. when you guys are playing, do you guys have your cabinets on stage or are they hidden? They're hidden. Yeah, so but the point keep is. Keep the cabs hidden, yeah. You don't. You actually you wouldn't don't. need Because you, you're just doing everything on any of these things. Yeah. So you don't need a cabinet. That's crazy. You just need a pedal board. And. and Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's just a, it's a, uh, it's one of my older jams that I profiled. And, uh, wow. I profiled it through a VJR cabinet. Through what? A VJR cabinet. Oh. I, I had to funny. get the inspiration because I saw your big full page ad in the guitar magazine and I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta use it. Pay homage to me. Pay yeah. homage to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead. Yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, this is this is an orange. Um, tell you, this is a this is actually divided by thirteen. So this is divided by thirteen. I did. I didn't change the name on it because I was doing it okay. very quick. But uh, I'm bad at naming things. But this is divided by. Yeah, that was uh, give me more volume, master volume. <laughs> Wow. It's getting, yeah, it was, it was really, it was a real fuzzy, kind of crunchy, uh, yeah. And again, you know, lighten up the gain on it. Yeah. There you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the sound that was going for was, was really crunchy and, and, and rocky. Vibralux. 67 Vibralux, nice. Yeah, crank it, crank it. Crank it. Wow. Yeah. Just with a 57. Wow. Yeah. It's a really beautiful amp. I've used this uh, profile on a ton of things already. It's just a. It's meaty, man. It sounds so good.
Beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Those are just some of the some of the ones I've come up with.